Hello, back again to do another unboxing and review. Today I will be uh, reviewing this um, active um, pen for a uh, tablet or smartphone. However, before we go any further in this review, uh, I need to state something up right up front here. And that is, if you're looking at this item, you've probably already guessed, or you're probably thinking to yourself, hey, that looks a lot like, fill in the blank, the Apple Pencil. Okay, so I want to make sure I said this up front. This channel does not do knockoff products. I've been importing things from Asia for a long time and doing reviews on them. And you'll notice I've never done a knockoff Galaxy phone or a knockoff whatever. I just don't do it. I don't really see the point. Um, there's plenty of things from that part of the world that are uh, unique or at least not copies and are really great. So I just focus on that. Now, so you might be saying, well, then why do I have this knockoff Apple Pencil here? Um, well, funny story. It actually shows you how little I use Apple products. Yes, it's been IBM since the 90s. But anyway, well, I was looking for an uh, active pen to use on my LG V60 um, smartphone. And I was just looking at specs. I saw a decent price, and I thought, yeah, let me give this one a try. It wasn't until I got it that I realized, wait a minute, this looks like, uh, you know, an Apple Pencil. So, uh, we're in this, this is going to be a unique review because I'm going to go ahead and review this, even though I normally wouldn't have touched it had I known that this was a, evidently a knockoff Apple Pencil. But since it's here, uh, let's go ahead and test it out. Um, so, we're going to go straight into the... Um, I'll put up the specs in front of the screen here. I'll just scroll it by on a piece of paper. I printed this off uh, directly off the literature of the manufacturer. So, all right. So here we are. Yeah, the brand is uh, AI Each. So Yich. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. That's what I'm going to go with. And I'm just going to go ahead and pull this up, and you can pause if you want to see anything. Okay and that we'll get to it later. There's evidently a glove included. And here are all the compatible devices it works with. You will notice there are a lot of Apple products there. And if we turn the page around, yes, more Apple products, but then at the very bottom you can see it works for something other than Apple. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and do it around the box. Um, for those who actually purchased the Apple Pencil, you might get a laugh out of um, the similarities, uh, the coincidental similarities. <laughs> anyway, um, so here we go. Um, although I did not purchase the actual Apple Pencil, um, from what I've seen, this is uh, very close to the uh, box of that item. Anyway, of course here we have Active Stylus Pen. All right. There's even a little pull tab there. Same thing on this side. Nothing on the bottom. Here we are. So um, at this point, I should tell you there are two colors. Uh, you could either get the white or the black. I chose the black. Um, just goes better with my phone since I didn't get the white V60 or I might have gotten the white pen. But anyway, so black goes better with mine. You can see there, um, there's the, okay, the Made in China. Okay. And then here are some of the little info icons. Yeah, all right. So. All right, now over here, <laughs> so um, I actually went ahead and just looked up a quick image online of um, what the Apple Pencil in its box, and this drawing here is like almost exactly like the one at, um, on the Apple Pen box. And the only difference is it doesn't say magnetic on that one. I think it says like Apple Pen or something up there. This little thing here, instead of having two arrows go into the um, iPad representation, there's only one like arrow. And then this part um, right here is pretty much exactly the same, except it doesn't have the word for. It just says, like you see there, iPad Pro. And, of course, the P is capitalized, which they forgot to do on this one here. So, yeah, placement and everything is just way too coincidental. So, But anyway, so um, overall impressions of the box, um, I mean the packaging, you know what, I'm just going to say, because um, it's obvious. It's obvious what they're trying to do here, so I'm not even going to go and analyze it because... Well, what is there to say? We all know what they're trying to do. So, all right. So, well, moving on. All right. So, to unbox it, I'm going to assume I pull on this little tab here. Okay, it was right. It does make it easy to get out, though. I will say that. Okay. So here's this. Now there's something in here, so I'm going to slide this out. Okay. So here's our user manual. 
Yeah, it looks like it. Uh, let's see, open it up. Alright, so yes, it's quite long. Alright, so here we see, um, yeah, so we, it looks like instead of having, let me just make sure if I say something correct, okay. So it looks like instead of having two manuals or having one manual of English printed on one side and Chinese on the other, it looks like they kind of just interspaced the Chinese there with the English. So, okay, I guess that saves on having to print two manuals, right? Okay, well, um, so we'll put that aside. Um, so here, in this, you can see the pen is in its little anti-static bag. We'll come back to that. So then, oh, I should show you. Okay, so in here we have some accessories. So we have this, which we'll get back to. Here is the charging cable. So USB to this little here. So yeah, this is, um, uh, well, at least for the most part, I'm pretty sure this is proprietary. You may be able to find some other charger with this um, connector here, but I'm going to assume that you probably don't have one of those in your drawer, so we're just going to call this a proprietary charger. And then over here, it looks like we have some... Okay, yeah, um, these are those uh, special tips. We'll get back to those. Okay, and it does come with this little case. Um, so this is that, you know, synthetic leather. And... Um, yeah, it looks like we have a single stitching here holding it together as a sheath. The inside is actually, let me zoom. In. All right. So yeah, the inside in here does have this soft material. Um, so that's pretty cool. Anyway, and the, it has some creases in here, but I mean, you can see right there. Um, but overall, not bad. Okay. Um, so now let's get back. I said I'd get back to this here. So. And when I was scrolling those uh, specs in front of the camera, uh, you might have seen that they were talking about palm rejection. So this pen pencil does not have um, palm um, rejection on in of itself. So in case you don't know what palm rejection is, if you're you know laying your hand like you know when you write on piece of, like a piece of paper for example, you might rest this part of your hand on the screen or in the case paper. Well, if you do that with an iPad or any tablet, right? Um, it's going to read that you're touching it, so then it's going to be confused, you know, do I read the hand or do I read the thing, the, the stylus, right? So some of these active pencils apparently are able to um, tell the device to forget about your palm and only focus on what you're actually using with the stylus, right? But this doesn't have that, so in order to not have that happen, they give you this glove here, which is, um, so I'll just go ahead and try it on. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there we go. <laughs> so yeah, it leaves all the hand, you know, what you would actually hold the pen with. And then this, now you should be able to freely rest this on the screen without any um, air to inputs, right? Um, it's kind of funny, it's like the opposite of like a pool glove, right? <laughs> anyway, um, alright, so as far as the size, it's a one size fits all. Um, so yeah, um, there we go. So uh, with all those out of the way, let's... Um, oh, I said I would mention about these little tips here. So these are that special material, they call it POM, which again stands for, uh, let me get this, polyoxymethylene. Okay, so, and you get two of those. Again, it's an option if you want to use them or not. Okay, so now let's get to the actual pen, pencil, stylus. All right, so here's the little bag. Okay, so there it is. Again, remember it comes in two colors. And there's the on off button. And then on the top, you can see where this plugs in to charge it. All right, so when you want to change, um, I don't know, some of them call them nibs or whatever. Um, so apparently you turn this, okay, I was turning the wrong part, okay. Turn the very tip here. You can see there's a little, yeah. And then take this off. Okay. And make sure you don't lose it. This thing's kind of small, so I'll drop it in the tray down there. So here, it looks like they already have one installed. Okay, cool. So you actually get three of these. One comes already on it, and there's the two in the bag. So this is that little palm. Um, material. Now, you might ask what's the difference um, So with, between using the, the little, um, <laughs> t these little palm um, nibs or just using the bare um, um, pen tip here. Now, so if you are using 
Okay, if you're using a screen protector that's matte, or you just want a little more resistance to make it feel more like, like an actual pencil on paper, you use these little um, palm tip nib covers. All right. If, however, you want way less resistance um, as far as when you're dragging it across the screen, or you have a glass, uh, tempered glass screen protector, then you would go without the nib. You would just use this guy here. Um, so, since on my V60, I have a screen protector that's not tempered glass, I'm going to start off by using the little cover, the little palm cover. And uh, as you can see, they are quite tiny, so um, you gotta be careful you don't lose them. Alright, and screw this one back on. Alright, so there we go. So I'm gonna go charge it, and I'll be back. Alright, so I had the chance to charge up the device and also use it for a while. And I want to tell you a few things that I didn't mention earlier. First, let's talk about the, the material. This is made out of plastic. Now, the weight of the pencil is actually really good. It feels not too heavy, not too light. Um, okay, now, let's, the, earlier um, we talked about the magnetic attachment. So I wasn't sure, since I don't have an iPad, I wasn't sure how that whole magnetic thing was work. I wasn't sure if the pencil itself has the magnet and then the iPad just has a metal strip or if it was the other way around. However, since I don't know what, about the iPad, I can tell you about this pen. This pen has magnets in here on this um, flat face. If you notice, this face here with the button is flat and the, all the rest is rounded. Okay, So it's really easy to tell what side has the magnet because you just go to the flat side and stick this to. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be an iPad. It can just be your fridge. I went ahead and attached this to my fridge. makes it easier to remember to grab it when I take off. So yeah, um, that's I guess a good storage option. So again, you do not need an iPad to take advantage of the, metal, the mag magnetic um, attachment feature. Okay, let's talk about this um, button here. Um, when you push it here, push and hold for like a second and then it turns on. Okay, now you see it has a white LED. That is the color for when the device is in use. Uh, when you charge it, um, that LED will be red and then when it becomes fully charged, the LED just goes out. So that's how you know it's full. All right, so I went ahead and opened up Quick Memo Plus. It's one of the included apps on this phone, um, pre-installed. And I'm gonna use this as a way of testing my new um, active pencil here. So right now the pencil is actually turned off. Now the reason I'm doing that is because I want to make sure that this here isn't just a capacitive touchscreen pen, um, a passive one, meaning it doesn't need battery or charge or anything. And to make sure that that's not the case here, we have it turned off. I'm gonna go ahead and scribble on the phone and nothing should happen. All right. So, um, that turned out the way we expected. So now we know that this actually is an active stylus pen, assuming that when I turn it on, now it should work. All right, so you can see it is functioning. Now, um, I'm gonna go up here and turn on, you see, look here, there's something called turn on pen only mode. I'm going to go ahead and turn that on. Now, uh, from my understanding, um, I guess that this will make it more accurate because now it's going to be the phone is going to be looking for only the pen and I guess it's going to like ignore anything else. Um, at least that's what I'm to understand. Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong about that, but I believe that's what the deal is. So now I'm going to go ahead and try to draw, right? Look, it, it doesn't work. Now, interestingly enough, I can move the screen up and down so I guess I can use it to scroll. I can use it to, um, let's see, select, you know, see I can select different tools, text, okay, so you get the idea. So it's the phone isn't completely ignoring it, but it's not allowing me to draw. So at least for the combination of this device, I mean this pencil, this phone, and this app, pen only mode does not help us. So I'm gonna turn off pen only mode, and now I should be able to Draw again. See? Okay. Um, so, alright, so we know it works, um, and we know it has to be turned on. Now, I'm going to go ahead and just turn this off for a bit. Oh, by the way, turn it on and off. You push a hold in the button for like a second, then release. Okay. Now, I'm going to get this here. Now, this here is uh, just a simple, although it's pretty good quality, and also quite affordable, um, but this is just a regular old 
capacitive touchscreen stylus, right? And it does not require any battery or any charge or anything, right? So call it passive in that respect. The only thing that makes it work is that little nub on the end, which is supposed to, I guess, mimic, at least as far as the, the phone's concerned, it's supposed to mimic your finger. So. so you can see that also works. All right. So from this, at least as far as we've looked at, uh, doing what we just did, this here, when turned on, essentially just does the same thing that this does. All right. Okay. All right, so I've been using this for a while, mainly just kind of toying around with it and testing it out. I have not used it long enough to drain the charge, so I can't confirm the manufacturer's hours of use per charge uh, claim. So, all right, now, as far as using this, I'm actually really enjoying using this um, pen. Although, um, being objective, I think that primarily has to do with the fact that I'm getting back to an input interface that I'm way familiar with and kind of brings me back to my PDA days. Uh, for those youngins out there who don't know what a PDA is, it's essentially, think of a smartphone from way back when that didn't make phone calls, <laughs> all right? You might have heard of maybe one of your older relatives talk about Palm Pilots. Um, that, anyway, those had a resistive touchscreen. So if you wanted to enter anything into the, you know, type anything or do anything on that, you had to basically use a stylus. You couldn't use your finger. And so now me going back to this, it just feels natural and I'm typing away and I actually am doing, I'm more productive with this. But again, I think that's just because of the interface. I don't think that has so much to do with this particular pen, although this pen does work for that. Okay, now with all that, um, let's talk about, uh, first I'm going to, um, for those Apple people who are still watching this video, you might, um, I'm just going to, you're going to have to kind of see what we I did with this and kind of, I guess, Judge for yourself if this would be a good substitute for your quite pricey Apple Pen. Since I do not have an iPad and I do not have an Apple Pencil to compare this against, I don't know how much function or productivity you're going to lose by using this as opposed to your Apple branded pencil. Alright, so for those who are using an LG V60 like myself, I can maybe give you a little better conclusion. Okay, so the main thing we have to deal with here is that we are lacking two buttons, those buttons that would otherwise be up here if you're using a pen such as like that bamboo or whatnot. Um, this here does not have those buttons, so you immediately lose any feature that you would otherwise be able to activate with those buttons. I think you can pull up like menus, you can make those buttons be shortcuts and all that good stuff. Of course, on this, you will not be able to do that. So, being that as it is, this here is essentially just a substitute for this. Now, the one advantage I can see about using this here um, is the fact that the, the tip is obviously a lot more narrow than something like this. Now, when I one interesting thing I know was when I was drawing a line, I just did a cost a steady line, and I can this can get the actual tip can get ahead of the line that's being drawn. So if you imagine my finger here is being the line I'm drawing, if I move fast enough, I can get a scenario like this where the pen is actually leading the line that is being drawn. It isn't by much; it's about by eh, about a space about that big, that space between the pen tip and my fingertip. Now, that might not be an issue, especially if you're not drawing really fast. Um, now, I did the same thing with this here, and what I noticed is it that did not happen. I didn't get that uh, this leading the line I'm drawing. Now, I thought that was just because this tip here is so wide, but I actually um, brought my head enough to the side to look underneath or where this is actually touching the screen, and I noticed that the line was keeping up with this. So, um, for you artsy types, maybe that's a concern or maybe it's a non-issue, I'm not sure. But, um, at least from my experience, I'm seeing these things essentially being just what one is more comfortable to hold. Um, this one's longer, it has a narrower tip, but other than that, this here does not provide any function that this here does not. And because of that, at least for the LG V60 and devices such as that phone, I really don't see this as being an advantage over this. Um, and I, for that reason, I will be getting an active stylus that does have the buttons on here. So there I can actually see if that will be a good substitute for the bamboo pen. So we'll see if that's a better um, option and I will get that pen hopefully soon. So.